Okay, hi guys. I'm going to keep these little snippets kind of sh as short as possible as I kind of give you a few updates. The first thing I want to talk about is I have been plugged into Shore Power here for over 48 hours now, and I am still not up to 100% on my four battery bank. Remember, I remember a couple days ago I depleted under 60%, you know, no solar coming in, generator wasn't charging, so um, it's taken me more than two days to just sit here and speed charge the four batteries. Uh, not working. So, two things have happened. One, I have ordered a new speed charger officially. I spent a little bit over a hundred dollars on a 40 amp speed charger. And yes, it is safe to do that when you're using multiple batteries. A lot of the speed chargers they make today, uh, they're only meant to use one battery. That's why they're either two amp trickle, 10 or 12 amp is the main charging rate and then some of them have like a 50 amper which is meant for like starting if the battery was dead like and it only does it for like 10 seconds and then turns off but when you have multiple batteries like i have a bank of four deep cycle batteries it is okay to up the amperage that's that's charging those uh to kind of compensate and 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 to bring that charge up a lot quicker yes it does kind of reduce the battery efficiency and life of the batteries but you, you can't just sit here for two days and just waste two days trying to recharge the batteries when, it, when it's not sunny. So I ordered that. It's coming in the way, on the way, on the road to a future RV park in like a week. So I'll update that when it gets here. Also, I wanted to update the whole generator problem. I appreciate all the comments. YouTube is a really helpful place and there's a lot of really smart people out there. And also, you know, thank Andrew, my buddy, my buddy mechanic back in Olympia for also reinforcing the fact that, you know, you can just test the outlets to see what's coming through. And when I tested my outlets in here with the generator run and I was getting below 90 volts. And that's not 120 to 130. So I was able to kind of uh, up, twist that screw on the throttle of that and bring it up to in the range of 120 to 130, which seems to be working, but there's still a lot of voltage drop when I use the microwave, the coffee maker, or the speed charger. So, mm, I'm kind of distressed about that. Usually, what, what, um, what generators are supposed to do is when you put a load on it, they're supposed to kick up into a higher thing and get louder to kind of compensate that. What my generator does is it bogs down. So yes, it is, it's starting to work now that I've turned up the voltage. Uh, when you use the microwave, I can actually pop popcorn and, and microwave stuff, but it's bogging down and being less quiet instead of kicking into a higher RPM. So it's doing the opposite, and I still think it might be an internal uh, regulator problem. But it's working right now correctly, and once I get that new speed charger, it's going to be okay on these rainy, cloudy days until I figure that out. Secondly, I got a couple new products. One is really handy. When I'm driving, I have three things I like to charge. I have the two cameras that are both micro SD, and I have my cell phone up there that I like to charge, so these weighs a lot. That's three USBs, and I was having a problem keeping up when alternating them back and forth, so what I did was I went on eBay, and I got this AC adapter that has actually six USBs, and these are all uh, 2.0 amp USB chargers on here, so I can have up to six things plugged in, and I'm going to just basically hardwire this back from my inverter, come up front, and mount it somewhere up in the cab area where I'm driving so I can always have stuff charging, and, then, and even multiple batteries, uh, my speaker, my stabilizer, I can charge everything all at once, and it just makes things a lot more convenient. I've never seen a six port one like this, and I said, that'll solve a lot of my problems. So, excited to use that one. The water heater uh, issue that's going on with the water heater, uh, um, I'm gonna be okay. I, I can pretty much get it to turn on when I need it to turn on once a day, uh, but it, it's not that big of an issue. I really, 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 really wanna leave the state. So that's what we're trying to do here is tidy up everything that, that's a must have. Uh, the, the brakes are all good. I got the two tires. So I feel like I'm really ready and confident much more so than I was a year ago. So, but I need to stop being so nitpicky and thinking of all these ways to better things. There, there, there will be time for that down in California, Texas and Florida to, to improve a little bit as we go and kind of make life easier. But right now I just want to get out of here so I can, so I can make it happen and, and say, okay, you know, we're, we definitely crossed out of Washington State, and we're getting on the road. So, uh, so uh, one other thing before I go to bed that I want to talk about today. I, I know a lot of my personal life is kind of talked about on YouTube, and a lot of people, you know, judge me and jump to conclusions and stuff like that. Um, I, I don't really keep that stuff secret. You know, I have, I have a terrible appetite. 
I, you know, just a terrible diet. I mean, I, I, I don't eat very healthy foods. Uh, once a week, you know, I just gorge and eat a whole box of macaroni and cheese and a bunch of other, you know, there's almost always pizza somewhere, some kind of DiGiorno's or you know, Little Caesars or something. But anyway, yeah, I'm, it's just my weakness, right? Uh, I eat a lot of junk food and food that's not healthy. But uh, I, I thought I would, I thought I would mention it's actually been 22 days since I've had any alcohol. And that's just something that I've kind of decided to just cut out of my life. There's a lot of naysayers that, you know, when they see a beer, like a beer can right here or something, that, that they correlate that with, this person's an alcoholic. He's drinking a beer at a bar. It's an alcoholic. And what people don't understand is, some people, I mean, uh, alcoholism is an actual disease. And it's really kind of weird when people use it interchangeably with someone who drinks beer as being an alcoholic you know like I, I don't think people I don't think a lot of people understand uh, what kind of disease is really involved in that and I know a lot of normal people that can you know drink beer occasionally once a week or something like that um, I'm just going through this weird time and you know I, I love Rainier beer I love Bud Light and all that and I'll probably one day go back to drinking alcohol again but I just decided to lay off alcohol for my own personal health for a little bit here and just because you know it, I just just to kind of prove to myself that I don't have to have a beer every other night you know or a couple beers every other night um, it's nice to have it's nice to it's 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 nice to socialize with people and drink a beer at a campfire and stuff like that but I've been turning it down for the last 22 days and I'm, I'm just gonna continue it for a little while a, a little while here at least through the end of the year probably I'm just going to stay sober and uh, keep a, a level head all the time. And maybe that'll end up helping some other things as far as a diet, too. Maybe it'll help me uh, want to eat a little more healthy as well as I start to maybe feel a little better or something. Because uh, I do feel a lot better. So, yeah. All right, I'll get at you guys in the morning. Well, dang it, I really wish I hadn't cut off my beard all the way. I was trying to go for the goatee look. and I don't like it now. Oh, no, I miss having a beard. It'll grow back. Maybe I'll mess with it a little more. Right there. It's a better look. I like that look. No, I really don't like that look. It's really a stupid look. <laughs> Alright, we'll just go with the uh, 70s porn stash for now. Uh, if I don't shave that up, I'll just let it all grow back out. But uh, I had to change my plans here today. Little problem kind of crept up on me. And so I'm going to make breakfast here, shower, and then... Uh, when the sun officially comes up and it gets brighter and less wet outside, I will show you what's going on outside. How you doing? Hi, Jax. How you doing? Good morning, buddy. Well, watch out for that sharp knife. All right, so this is the problem. I have uh, ripped the carpet out right here, but as you can see, the entire floor. Oh. All right, so what's happened is I took one step on this last night and the whole floor gave way. Look what happens when I apply a tiny bit of pressure right here. The entire things come out um, apart from the wall. A lot of dry rot in here. This this wood is completely bad. At least the side walls are still okay. That's what I'm probably going to brace into. But as we kind of take a look down here, when I, again, when I apply pressure, this entire metal box has come free of the wood behind it. So, I mean, we fix it, right? That's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna go to Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere, hardware store, get some plywood. i um, gonna get some L brackets to support it up here. Probably gonna drive this somewhere and try to jack up the entire thing, jack it up to where it's supposed to be with a jack to get it to where it's supposed to be, then put in the new floor, and then maybe make this more waterproof right here with rubber or something. So that's the plan for today. Let's go to, let's go to a hardware store. All right, we're here at Home Depot. Like my new shirt, Matic Fanatic, zero to sixty eventually. mowing his lawn over there so it might get loud at times here but what I've done in the meantime is 
just kind of a little side project. I've actually devised a way to angle my solar panel 45 degrees, and I've done it in a way that makes it easy for me to do this on the road. Even though I do have to climb up and down, this is another way to get uh, really easy. And I didn't spend $100 to get some kit. I just did all this myself. Uh, I think I said Home Depot earlier, but I was at Lowe's. So what I did was I got this, I got two of these, and since they're bent, they're really much more reinforced, but I haven't tightened them. I took out all of the old hardware and I still need to goop this all up and reseal it. I got three inch L brackets. I got the knobs with wing nuts so that this can be easily just undone and removed by hand. No tools required when I want to tilt it. Then up top, same thing. I can, since it has all these holes, I can adjust it at almost any level, even past 45 degrees that I need. On the bottom here, I've got all I need to do is loosen this a little bit so that it's free and able to tilt and rotate. I could also switch the entire thing around. Uh, if for some reason I wanted the sun on the other side, which I probably never will because the fridge is over there and my awning's over there, but I could also flip this and have it tilt on the other side and raise from this point here. But it does give me some nice, nice angles there. Obviously there's no sun or not much sun right now, but this is, this is gonna help me on the road for sure this winter. Hey guys, I told you I'd keep you updated here and I'll show you the bottom step here that's been repaired. Might be better to show in the daytime, but e either way, it's reinforced with three quarter inch down there. I've got brackets on the inside and the outside and the step has been repaired. So all I need to do now is find a way to kind of waterproof the wood, but uh, it works. It's really awesome here. I'll step out even though there's, I can actually step on the entire thing and it doesn't even move. So really happy with that. I'm kind of just in a mood to fix a whole bunch of stuff. Um, when I was at Lowe's, I also got this thing, which I believe this is for hanging like sprinkler water systems. It was in the plumbing section of Lowe's, but you know what this looks like? It looks like a cheap exhaust hanger, <laughs> and that's what I'm going to use instead. <laughs> hey, it works, so we'll do that tomorrow. What's the other thing? Um, solar's all secure on the roof, so yeah, just doing a little bit here time and keeping you guys updated. How you doing, Jax? How you doing, buddy? I know, it's a mess. I'm sorry. I'll clean it up a little bit. Good boy. How you doing? How was your dinner? Scrumptious. Scrumptious. <laughs> hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. we got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later.